our YouTube channel Math with Jeeva. In this video, we are planning to discuss with you about Pythagorean relation, which you can find in your second math textbook as unit 90. Okay, before moving to the theorem, we'll look at this. Tell me what is this? It's a triangle. Okay. So what are the features you can see in a triangle? You have three sides, three interior angles, right? Three interior angles, triangles. So it's a triangle, right? Now tell me what is this? Again, it's a triangle having three sides, three interior angles. So can you see any differences or any uh, difference between uh, these two triangles? For me, both of them are triangles having three sides and having three interior angles. But if I measure the each interior angle, I can see this is as 90 degrees. That means this is a right angle with 90 degrees. Okay. So any triangle. So we know we have three interior angles. Out of these three interior angles, one is 90 degrees or, or else a right angle. We call these types of triangle as right angle triangle. Now, the side which is, I'm talking about this side, right? The side which is exactly opposite to the right angle or else in front of this right angle. The side, in other terms, we have three sides. Out of these three sides, the longest side we name as hypotenuse. Okay? Why we need to learn about the features of a right angle triangle. In a right angle triangle, we have three sides, three interior angles. Out of these three interior angles, one is a right angle with 90 degrees. And in front of the right angle, that is the longest side out of all three sides, we call, as the, uh, we call this side as the hypotenuse. Why we need all this information? Because the theorem we are going to discuss today, Pythagorean relation, can be applied with right angle triangle. Long time back, a Greek mathematician called Pythagoras introduced the relationship between the sides of a right angle triangle. And he introduced a theorem called Pythagoras theorem. So today we are discuss about that Pythagorean relation. Okay. So before going to the theorem, let's do something. What you want to do now? You want to have your mathematical instrument box with you and you want to construct a triangle with me. I'll give you the information, right? You want to construct ABC triangle, right? You want to construct ABC triangle and the information size of AB, it is 4 centimeters and BC, it is 3 centimeters and the angle ABC, so the B angle, it is 90 degrees. You know, before going for the construction, what we want to do, we want to have the rough sketch, right? Okay, now I'm going to have the rough sketch according to the information I have. So this is my ABC triangle. This is A, this is B and this is C. The angle B they have given as 90 degrees and BC it is 3 centimeters and this is 4 centimeters. Now having all this information, now I want to construct the ABC triangle. So let's do it. So first you want to have this line and you mark this as B and using your pair of compasses, 
you want to measure 3 centimeters and you have the arc like this. So this is point C and here it is 3 centimeters. Before having a B line, first you want to construct the 90 degree angle here. How can you construct that? Can you remember? So here, right, I just show it. Right? So here it is exactly 90 degrees. Okay. Now you want to have AB uh, side. It is 4 centimeters. Again measure 4 centimeters. And you can draw. Right? This as A and this is 4 centimeters. Now what you want to do. You join this AC. Right? And you want to measure this value. Right? If you construct it correctly, you may find this as 5 centimeters. Right? Okay. 3 centimeters, 4 centimeters. So this is a triangle and one angle is 90 degrees. So this should be a right angle triangle and the hypotenuse value is 5 centimeters. That is one exercise. Another one what you want to do, now take another paper and draw three squares right i suggest you to have three squares one is with three centimeter three centimeter other one is with right four centimeter four centimeter other one third one should be little bit larger so five centimeter five centimeter Right? So you want to have uh, three squares like this. And you cut these three squares. Right? And if you take this square with three centimeter one, then paste that three centimeter length square on BC. Right? You can, so first you want to have three squares. So here, first one, one side is three centimeters. The second one is 4 centimeters and third one is 5 centimeters. Then what you can do, you take 3 centimeter uh, square and you paste like this. Right? You paste like this. Okay? Then the next one, 4 centimeter square, again cut it and paste on here. So you can paste here. And the third one with 5 centimeters, you paste like this. Okay. Now understood the activity. First you want to construct the ABC triangle. They have given the information AB 4 centimeters, BC 3 centimeters and B angle as 90 degrees. First of all you want to have the rough sketch. So looking at the rough sketch, I constructed my triangle. Now, then I found the value of hypotenuse of this ABC right angle triangle is 5 centimeters. Then I uh, took another separate paper and I drew 3 squares with 3 centimeters, 4 centimeters and 5 centimeters. Then I cut them. After cutting what I did, 3 centimeters square I pasted on this line, BZ line. And 4 cm square I pasted here. And 5 cm square I pasted here. Now you want to do something. So you have now 1, 2, 3. So you have 3 squares. Right? Now find the area of each square. Now you find the area of 3 squares. Tell me what is the area of First square, it is 3 centimeter times 3 centimeter, it is 9 squared centimeter. Okay, this is number 1. And the area of number 2, 4 centimeter times 4 centimeter, it is 16 squared centimeter. And third one, 5 cm times 5 cm, it is 25 squared centimeters. 
All of them are squares. How do you find the area of a square? Length time length because all four sides are equal, right? And here 9 squared centimeter, 16 squared centimeter and 25 squared centimeter. Now looking at the value. Can you find any relationship between these areas? Can you find 9 plus 16? It gives me 25. Now how can I elaborate this? Area of the square drawn on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas drawn on other two sides. Okay? In a right angle triangle, area of the square drawn on hypotenuse is equal to the Sum of the sum of the areas of squares drawn on other two sides, right? Okay. Now tell me. So here I found the area values using the given uh, figures: five centimeter times five centimeter, and four centimeter times four centimeter, and three centimeter times three centimeters. Without uh, looking at the numbers. Now tell me, how can I find the area of this square? So this one, first of all, tell me. It is BC times BC. So whatever the value I have, now I am going to find the area of this square. It is BC times BC. Because why? If this is BC, so as this is a square, the, this side also should be BC value. So BC times BC, that is BC squared. Okay, right. Now think about this square. How can I find this one? It is AB. So this side also should be AB. AB times AB. It is AB square. Now what happened to this? So if this is AC, this side should be AC as this is a square. Now it is AC times AC. That means AC square. Now, what was the relationship we found? The, the sum of these 9 and 16 should be equal to 25. And I told you in a right angle angle, the square, area of the square drawn on the hypotenuse should be equal to the sum of the area of the squares which, which were drawn on other two remaining sides. Now, what I am going to do? I'm going to write the relationship between, so AC square, that means the uh, area of this square. AC squared equal to the sum of the areas of these squares. How can I write it now? AB squared plus BC squared. Okay, this is the relationship now you can have in a right angle triangle. The sides, relationship of sides in a right angle triangle which was introduced by the great mathematician. So, he is a Greek person, Pythagoras. Okay, so Pythagorean relation is what? In a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of other two sides. Hope everybody understood the concept well. Okay. Having that knowledge, before winding up today's lesson, let's practice another one. So you don't have, always you don't want to have AZ, AB. So here, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, right? Let's say now my triangle is PQR. Let's say it is PQR, right? And this is 8 centimeters and this is 6 centimeters and they have given this as a right angle. Now, I know this is a right angle triangle. For a right angle triangle, to find the value of this side, I can apply the Pythagorean relation now. I proved it. And I understood with my own experience, yes, this is true. So now to find this PR value, now I can use this theorem.
So how can I find it? So this is the this is the right angle, the side which is exactly opposite to the right angle we call the hypotenuse. That means PR is the hypotenuse. PR square equal to PQ squared plus QR square. Right? Okay. So now I'm going to substitute the given value. PR, I don't know, which I'm planning to find. And PQ, it is 8 centimeters, so 8 centimeters square, plus QR is 6, 6 centimeters so squared. What is the square of 8? It is 64. And what is the square of 6? It is 36. Now here we have the PR squared value. Now, PR squared value is 100. Now, I don't want to find PR squared. Instead, I want to find the value of PR. Tell me how can I get the PR value. If PR squared is equal to 100, PR is the square root of 100. You know it is 10 centimeters. Now can you understand how can you find the value of the hypotenuse if they have given the size of the other two sides and they have mentioned it as a right angle triangle and using the Pythagorean relation we can find the other side that is the hypotenuse. Okay. So this is not the end of this unit, right? We are going to continue. We want to do a few sums and we want to cover uh, another few areas in your textbook, right? So keep in touch. Uh, I'm going to release another two to three videos with regard to this chapter, Pythagorean Relation. And don't forget to subscribe my channel that is Math with Jiva. And share about this YouTube channel if you feel, yes, the way she's explaining, I can understand with. So share about my YouTube channel with your friends and ask them to join with us to be a master of math. Right. Okay. See you children. We'll meet again with another uh, theory related to this Pythagorean relationship and the... Uh, We'll do a few sums. Okay, see you. Bye.